My name's Stephen Rains. I went to Hannah Woods Elementary School, Parkway South Junior High School, and then Parkway High School. Parkway South High? Yes, and then I went to Parkway South High. I've, I've, been, in, I've been in the Parkway School District from kindergarten up until graduating. And what year did you graduate? I graduated in 1994. What are your best memories of high school? Oh, the educators really stood out to me, the teachers that I encountered. Um, one was Phyllis Thorpe, uh, Mrs. Thorpe, who was a, uh, you know, a theater teacher. She also taught communications. And we had these projects of um, community involvement. And I organized a group of students to assist a uh, abused women's shelter. And so in 1992, that was um, kind of uncommon. And I felt like she gave the encouragement and freedom to do that. And I'm really thankful she did. Yeah, that was very early on for those. Um, what other Parkway educators would you say have really made a difference in your life? Definitely Miss Martha Roper, who was the health education teacher. And the year that I was in her class, a lot was going on. There was the Clarence Thomas hearings. Also Magic Johnson came out as being HIV positive. And I really, I always cite her as the reason I remained HIV negative, being sexually active at the height of AIDS. It was because of that progressive education that I received from her that um, I'm incredibly grateful for. And then later on in life, for 10 years, I tested and counseled people specifically on HIV. And so it was really interesting to, um, I found myself even saying some of the same things that she had stated in class um, years earlier. She was so ahead of her time with that curriculum. There was also Mr. Edward Mosseri, who was my English teacher, who pulled me aside and encouraged me to pursue a life in the arts. And it was great to have that kind of encouragement. And I, you know, some great, I don't know what else I want to say about his class. Um, he was an amazing teacher. You, you remember him? He was at Parkway North before he went to South. Yes, you're right. Because my brother had him. And so he was a legend. He was really one of those early on Parkway teachers that so many people bring up. Really? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah it's so memorable. So tell us about your career. My career, I, after Parkway, I went to the University of South Florida where I received uh, my undergraduate in creative writing. And at the age of 25, I had my first poetry collection published. Around that time, I also started teaching writing workshops to gay and lesbian youth groups. And that I started doing around the country. And I was encountering people from all over the country who were clearly, um, didn't receive the kind of liberal and progressive education that I received. And that made me appreciate Parkway even more from that. From those workshops, I soon started teaching writing workshops to people living with HIV. And then the past 10, 11 years now, I've been teaching writing workshops for gay and lesbian and bisexual uh, senior citizens. And do you want to talk about um, the gay rubbings exhibit? Yeah, definitely. Five years ago, I started thinking about public commemorative markers and how there are so few of them that commemorate uh, historic uh, events that are important to LGBTQ people. And I started thinking about what would it be like to collect rubbings of them and display them all at once. So the gay rub was my answer to that. It's a participatory project where I collect rubbings from, uh, you know, so when friends go on vacation, I give them rubbing supplies or, you know, people I don't know, they'll contact me and I'll send them rubbing supplies. And people rub markers, whether it's a gravestone of someone uh, well-known who identified as queer or, um, you know, like important landmarks like the Stonewall Inn, the rights at Stonewall. What would you say to somebody that 
a student today that might want to go into a career field similar to yours with counseling, with teaching, what would you tell them? What advice? That's a good question. I think I felt, I'm kind of, I've been a career hedonist that I just continually select things that seem interesting to me. And so everything I do, it's just only because of my interest. There's never been a financial motivation um, or any other motivation be, beyond my curiosity and that it just sounds interesting to me and enjoyable. I think, it's, I think it's worked out. Like, I feel good about that, so I guess that would be good advice. I think that my life is really big and diverse and maybe focusing on one thing I think that would have been interesting too. So I think my advice would be to follow your interests, but also maybe select one and focus solely on that. I haven't done that. Um, when you grow up, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think that's also good advice. That's good. Um, any hobbies or life lessons you want to share? Well, of course, as a poet and a writer, I'm a huge reader. And I think about the Parkway Library System and some of the authors that I read in that, you know, in the library are now in my phone book today and I'm friends with, as well as some of them I, I was introduced to their work at the Parkway Library that I've presented on at universities and at major museums. So, reading's a hobby and I always had that hobby but of course it was you know having the access to this great literature from Parkway. You know as a writer I'm really interested in storylines and I think often about my roots and how I am so shaped by my Parkway education and there are so many services that were provided. I had a speech problem growing up there were so many consonants I couldn't pronounce and uh, Mrs. Lieberman, unfortunately, I don't remember her first name. She was my speech teacher for years, from first grade all the way up until sixth grade, when I finally was able to, um, you know, say ours correctly. And and now it's so funny that I present and I talk so often, and I never think about that. And I think about how many people have shame about using their voice and talking. And I was I attended the school that. Um, supported, you know, someone doing that. It's, I feel so fortunate. 